arcade You were my arcade You were my arcade You were all of my fun You were my time waste When all my chores were done You were my arcade Hey guys, it's Benefit of a G from G Tracker here, and in this video, I'm gonna see how much I can make back from the magpie emblings that I had purchased for the hard clue scrolls. Initially, I tried buying ninja emblings, but it turned out to be very expensive, and I was losing money very quick. As much as I wanted to get the Yuri emote, uh, the 300 hard clue scroll t uh, milestone, I was losing money as if it was just falling out of my hands. I'm gonna throw a picture up on the screen for you guys so I can show you um, how much I'd bought uh, in terms of the magpie implings and the total loot it was. Uh, the number that it's showing at the bottom for the total value of the magpies that I purchased was the actual price added up 
um, between all of the transactions that I made to um, buy all of those implings. I didn't buy them all at once. I did earn the 97 mil to buy the Magpie implings. So I didn't take any money away from my bank. I didn't take any money away from uh, my other accounts. Everything was earned. Over time, all the money that I was earning during that period when I started doing the Hard Clusco stream, I was dedicating 100% of the money earned towards the Magpie implings. So that goes, that goes in line with what I was teaching you guys in the managing risk uh, video. So now, regardless of whether or not I lost any money at all with the Magpie implings, I already, I already profited. Well, I guess, I guess that's a, a way to look at it, but my bank isn't going to be hurt because I had already, I had already segmented it off money specifically for the magpie implings and if i had lost 97 million then i had lost 97 million but i knew that's kind of like impossible unless like i just drop everything on the floor but why don't we go ahead and look at the loot from all of the impling jars so we have our magpie implings and if you didn't know when you open a jar sometimes the jar will break so that's why there's not you know, 6,090 of these. Okay, so we're gonna price check this, guys, and we're gonna see how much this is again right now. Might be a little bit different from earlier. Okay, so it's showing me the first price that it's showing, total guide price, that's the native RuneScape client price, which is showing about 90.7 mil. Whereas the OS Buddy client is showing me 91.2 mil. If you don't know, OS Buddy is a little bit more accurate. So we're gonna go ahead and tally this off as 91.2 mil, which gives us a loss of about six mil. Let's say that's how much I lost. That's a huge difference between the Ninja Implings I had invested in and the Magpie Implings I invested in. If I had purchased 100 mil worth of Ninja Implings, I, I just don't even wanna know. <laughs> what the end loot was gonna be. Since we have the loot, now we wanna figure out how we can try and squeeze as much money out of this as we possibly can. So something very strange happened while I was editing this video. I don't know how this happened, but I have to show you guys kind of my setup here so I can show you how much we ended up in the end after I kind of sold everything off. I kind of recorded over the software that I use. And if you can see here, I'm kind of using the scroll uh, on the player. You can see that I'm kind of scrolling back and forth. Actually, move this up a little bit. Okay, you can see that I'm kind of scrolling back and forth to uh, kind of go down that timeline of that clip and it ends there so it never really shows the loot and this is the file that saved on my computer and then I go the opposite way to see where that goes and I've tried uploading this video and I've tried watching it I've, I've tried watching it without the software and it acts similar to what it's showing right now it's not showing the loot so by mistake, I found out a way to find the missing file somehow. It's weird, but um, here's the total loot from everything that was sold, minus the Snapdragon seeds. 
Okay, so in total, OS Buddy was estimating a total value of around 91.2 mil, but in the end, we were able to obtain 92.34 mil. But I have to say that I kind of screwed up somewhere along the lines. I don't believe I recorded the some some bit of this because uh, I remember at the very end of this, I actually ended up with around 97 to 98 mil. So I made a couple of mil off of kind of doing the stuff that I did. Uh, maybe it wasn't 97 or 98 mil, maybe it was like 96 mil, but it was definitely more than one mil. So I do apologize for that. You could either take, you could either take my word on how much I said I made, or you could just take out my word for what I can show and prove to you uh, with videos and pictures. All right, and now we have the actual loot for the hard clues. Now, a little disclaimer before we get into that real quick though. The teleports that you guys see in this tab, this bank tab right here, are teleports that I actually used while doing um, these clue scrolls. So it's not 100% loot on these specific teleport tabs. But if we click on the actual clue tab itself, I kind of took everything out of here. So everything kind of just jumbled up and it's a mess again. But OS Buddy showing a loot of around 24.6 mil. And this doesn't look so organized. Uh, so what I have right now is I have my year account right here. As if you guys remember, we had the drop party not too long ago. So uh, is there a quick way to do this? Release all placeholders, yes. There we go, okay. So now we have a clean slate. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all of these items over to the year account and then I'm gonna organize it to look a little bit nicer. All right, here we are. So first off, um, I think this is the best that I could organize it. We don't have all the items, so it's a little difficult trying to kind of make all the sets here and there. But if you guys are curious um, in terms of what's in the first tab, nothing. It's just the briefcase so that it kind of helps out with the scrolling here. Because initially when I had the first tab just open and no other tabs, it was like an infinite scroll bar. It was super small. I decided to create a second tab specifically for hard clue scrolls. And in the future, my goal is to unlock all the end goal rewards for all tier clue scrolls. So that means um, easy clue, medium, and then the elite as well as master. But in terms of the master, I'm not going to be camping that one simply because it's going to be, I mean, I could spend like two years trying to camp the bloodhound pet and still never get it. So, so the other, the other tiers, I do still plan on doing those. For live streams and I'm actually gonna include them into this account as well uh, the Yuri account is gonna now be like the official clue scroll library for all the clues that I've done on my account and that I've streamed for you guys uh, as of right now everything is on this one tab from all the hard clue scrolls but what I'm gonna do in the future is I'm gonna separate the common drops that you get from all tiers into one tab and then separate the easy medium and hard and elite tabs into their own categories and then if we ever get into master clues then we'll obviously make a tab for that but i'll go ahead and just do a little scroll here for you guys so you guys can see what it might look like have your teleport scrolls have your god wars books so we completed the full set of Ceradomen, a full set of zamrock only one of each a full set of armadillo only one of each didn't get to fulfill the gothex didn't get to fill the ancient or the bandos and the ancient would have been nice to have filled because we would have at least had like two of those um we kind of we we're kind of lucky on getting one of those because these are these are quite expensive 630k 488k 342k it adds up uh so let's scroll down a little bit more we have our prized possessions of these streams are almost one mil or around one mil dehyde boots let's see what else um some of these were are a little bit pricey, 150k, 250k. We have quite a lot of alcohols here. One mil, 1.7 mil, almost one mil there. Their only gilded item was the gilded square shield, so nothing too exciting there. 
But um, so yeah, that looks like it, guys. Uh, don't criticize me too much on my organizational skills. I try to do the best that I possibly can. I initially wanted to kind of include all the god sets together, but seeing as how there's so many items missing from the hard clue set, this was the best that I could do. But other than that, guys, uh, be sure to subscribe for future content. Be sure to leave a like to show your support. Be sure to leave a comment down below to uh, give your opinion on this video and any kind of videos you guys want to see in the future. But other than that, good luck merchant guys and until next time.